Hey man, what is good with y'all boys on YouTube? Today I'll be bringing to y'all a demigod current gen build, man. This is my first current gen video, so if you don't mind, go down there, show some love, and drop a like on this video, man. I know everyone thinks that next gen is way better than current gen, but it doesn't look too bad, so I might spend some time on current gen this year. Let me know in the comments if you guys do want to see any current gen gameplay, because I can make it happen. But for this build, we're gonna be a six foot nine power forward. This year, six foot nines really have the potential to take over the game, and six foot nine builds could be the meta in next gen and in current gen. So, hey man, without a further ado, let's get right into this build. So, for the position, like I said, go power forward on the position. For the handiness, it doesn't matter, and for jersey number, it also does not matter. Height six foot nine, weight go 230. Put in weight at 230 so that we still have a high strength and an 80 speed for the wingspan put that at seven foot i feel like this wingspan is perfect because we have really good defense we have an 87 ball handle 93 pointer and our driving dunk and we still will get contact dunks moving right along for the body shape it also does not matter let me put that to find though put your close shot to a 55 driving layup to a 75 Driving dunk to an 85, standing dunk to a 52. And we have 10 finishing badges. Now put your mid-range shot to an 85. I feel like you're gonna definitely be shooting very consistently. You could even fade with 85 mid-range. Put your three-pointer to a 90. We're at six foot nine build with a 93 pointer. That's insane. Now for the ball handle, you wanna go 86. So you could unlock all those animations. For pass accuracy, go 70, because this year you don't want to be throwing slow passes and 70 on the speed with the ball. We want to make this build so that, yeah, we're an offensive threat, but we don't want to be a defensive liability. So on the interior defense, you want to be guarding the post scorers, you want to be the big man on this build, so go 88, go 50 perimeter, leave the steal where it's at. For the block, go to an 87, offensive rebound to 51. And for defensive, you wanna go 90. So we are gonna be able to horse on this build, you feel me? Now for the physicals, we are not lacking in the physicals at all. For a lot of these categories, we are gonna be maxed or close to max. For the speed, max that out at 80. Acceleration go 70. Strength go 67. Vertical go 80. So we are gonna have contact dunks, you feel me? Stamina go 98. I just realized I put close shot up one too much. And then you wanna go back to your stamina and put that on 98. Now for the takeover, it's really up to you. You could honestly use this rim protector, but if you want to be a demigod, man, I feel like going shot creator just would look crazy on a six foot nine player to be fading out here like a point guard. And on the second takeover, it's really up to you, but I'm gonna choose rim protector. My player build complete, yes. And we have a two-way face up four, man. These build names that 2K put in the game, they're fire to be honest. And this build is also fire. So without further ado though, I'm gonna show you the badges that I would use. First of all, we do need that limitless takeoff, you feel me? We need slithery, posterizer for sure. And we have another one left. We could honestly use back down punisher on bronze. Now for shooting, you want agent threes since we do have shot creating takeover. Catch and shoot is a good badge if you're gonna be spotting up for somebody, but me personally, I'm a ball handler. Green Machine for sure. Volume Shooter is a good badge on like bronze, I feel like. Mini Magician on like gold. Guard Up, I feel like is also a good badge, so I'd put it on silver. Corner Specialist is a good bronze badge when you're fading in the corner. Amped is also a good badge. Limitless Range is a must. And honestly, I do not know how Space Crater works this year, but if it works good, I feel like it could be a really good badge. Look at our badges, man. We're already overpowered in the shooting category and we still have four left. I'm not gonna lie, now looking at this current gen builder system, I kinda like it way better than next gen. On next gen, you have to have tiers and all that. Current gen, it's just get whatever badge you want, really. Now for playmaking, I don't know how good Ankle Breaker is this year, but if it's like last year, I will have it like pretty high. But we do need handles for days on silver, quick first step on gold, needle threader, and killer combos. We could change this and put this on bronze and get unpluckable and we still have another one left. We could use that on anything really. Help your teammate out, get floor general on bronze, you feel me? 
Now for defense, you saw all those offensive badges that we had and we still get 16 defensive badges, man. Like you can't tell me this build isn't an all around demigod. We want anchor for sure to guard the post. Chase down artist should be a good badge on bronze, but so far a lot of people have not been getting chase down. So just take that into mind. Post move lockdown on gold, rebound chaser on silver and box out beast as your last badge. Hey man, this build is honestly making me want to go to current gen and just try it out, you feel me? So hey, I'll say this, if this video gets 100 likes, man, I'll take it into deep consideration to play current gen. I'm not gonna lie, this stuff is low key looking nice. But hey man, let me know in the comments what you think about this build, let me know if you make it. And if this video helped you out at all, make sure to drop a like on this video, man, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. The verse of the day is 1 Peter 2 verse 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye are healed. This verse is pretty much telling us that there is forgiveness in our sins through Jesus Christ when he was crucified on the cross. By him doing that, we don't have to suffer the punishments because he already did. We just have to be sincere to him that we're sorry for our sins and he will be gracious enough to forgive us.